come. And obviously there's a great interest in what Rajasthan is going to do, particularly in this field. This area is, I believe, one of the most important areas, both industry as well as power, that are going to make a difference to the fortunes of the state in time to come. Most importantly, it's not just about sustainable and inclusive growth, but also about being able to increase uh, employment opportunities, which has become a major factor in most problems and programs that we now put on the table. In order to get Rajasthan moving, it's very important that we focus on all aspects of this particular area. And I believe that at this moment in time, it's not something, I mean, okay, we can maybe direct it, but it will not work unless all the stakeholders are on board. I am very happy to see that there's been a great level of counseling uh, and uh, consultation between industry department and all of you. I believe that for many weeks this has happened backwards and forwards and I think that the policy that you now see on the table after a, a huge amount of consultation with each other. And I still say the books are not closed. That we still have to tweak a few things and if there are a few good ideas, we're always open to them because I really believe that we cannot afford to be um, insular as far as it's concerned. Things keep changing, new things keep happening, and those things need to get incorporated. Of course, it doesn't mean that we open doors so wide that we change policies to a huge amount. But yes, a certain amount of tweaking can be done, and we're always open to good ideas. Whether it's in the field of industry or um, in power. As far as I'm concerned, I think we've tried also in the solar energy field. So we put that for, I think, two, two and a half weeks on the net for people to look at and then make changes or consult. And I think there also there's been a lot of people who come back and forward on the issues. I'm happy to see that in the new policy that there are some things that have happened for the first time. Sunrise sectors like ceramics and glass and electronic systems, design, manufacturing, industrial gases, pharmaceuticals and other things have, I think, been included in the RIPs for the first time. And I think it's about time. And maybe we've included these. In time to come, there may be other things that seem to be uh, on the table that seem to be doing well, that would be useful for Rajasthan. Those things are also areas that we would be happy to look at at a later stage. We've tried very much to make, apart from everything else, employment a defining feature. I think uh, there's a subsidy also for people who are able to bring in large amounts of employment. And I think that we try very hard to see that ceilings and wages go up. So from 18,000 we have revised it to about 30,000. 30, Particularly uh, looking at subsidies for women, for schedule cars and schedule tribes and persons with disabilities. These also are areas that we're looking at for the first time. In the general category, we're looking at raising wages from 15,000 to 25,000. There's a uh, there's a uh, allowance to take this ceiling up by 5% every year. So there are a lot of interesting things that I'm going to come into. But most importantly, I believe the time has come for us now to move out of the shadows and move out of the forefront. We have certain strengths, and we need to leverage those strengths. Solar energy is part of those strengths. I must thank the team that worked on this because they came up with some very, very uh, amazing and new ideas, especially looking at things like involving farmers directly with the projects. Otherwise, we have a problem. And you know, every day they think about how we're going to be able to do acquisition of land, how we're going to be able to we talk to investors. The first thing they ask us is how are we going to manage land? It's very difficult, I agree, mean, but there are amazing ways of doing it. And I think that bringing farmers in will make a huge difference. And the areas where this is, uh, the solar energy will get produced on a large scale. But this is not all. I still am very, very happy for any one of you to come up with any good ideas. I'm looking forward to seeing that 
table. I really think that we need to put our money where our mouth is. We are making the effort. I think you need to meet us halfway. And I believe that there is an amount, a huge amount of scope. When we left in 2008, we left with a, a very successful research in Rajasthan. In that research in Rajasthan, we tried to, after having worked very hard on various aspects of the state, like infrastructure, um, the social infrastructure, all of these, we tried to bring together a system whereby people from outside would want to come and invest in our state. Because apart from everything else, and especially the tourism angle, there were these angles which would actually, uh, you know, sort of support whatever the industry would do. We had a very good response, particularly because it was the first time. And we were able to, in that year, put down almost, I think, was it 35? 35,000 crores. Yes. Approximately 35,000 crores worth of investment. And I believe that if we had a little more time, we would probably have been able to put down approximately 75,000 crores worth of investment. So people would come in with their MOUs and NOIs were almost to the tune of 170,000 crores. And I believe that it was a very encouraging start. We are going, and that's this preparation that we're doing now, to a research in Rajasthan at the end of next year. And for that, we will build up by traveling to states. We will build up by traveling to countries that we want to partner in time to come. We have the Japanese here in a huge, uh, you know, huge in that sense, they're doing a very big job <coughs> in Rajasthan. The Koreans are interested in coming in. And I believe the, Jap the Japanese and the Koreans are very big investors. There will be other investors, like Germany and various other countries are also interested in, in coming in. We will be traveling to those with maybe um, delegations, like we're doing now in Singapore. Singapore also is a large investor in India, and we want it to be a big large investor in Afghanistan. So we want to be able to go with our people to these various countries, and to ask them to also start to look at the investments in our state. And I believe that if those areas, when they were already invested, if those areas look successful and they plan well in those areas, more of them will come to invest. Because as you know, in Singapore and in Japan, also in Korea, they are saturated. They have to go out and invest. The companies are looking for places to invest in. And I think the time for us has come, where if by making policies of the nature of rich and by policies of solar energy, we might be able to get more people to be more interested and work with us here in Pakistan. So this is going to be a very busy year for all of us. From agriculture to industry, and all of these, turning around to get them to invest, to get people to invest in Pakistan is going to be the lead motive of the start to come. So starting now, right up to the next October, when hopefully October, November, when we hope to be able to put this research in Pakistan on the ground, there will also be um, business organizations like the CII, the FICI. CII is starting, I think, in January with their first uh, meeting with us. I think that we should be actually looking to CII, to GITB, to FICI, to be able to set up systems whereby we could start talking to people, maybe even getting MOUs uh, organized so that by the time we get to the final result, which should be around October, people are in the frame of mind to work with us and to sign those they will use in LOIs by that time. And there will be an advanced movement. This we can do with your help. And I think that it's time for us to start right now. We don't need to waste any time here. And I saw it, I believe that today is a good day. We put the policies on the table. To which the policy will still come. And it's one that I think that we will be able to do in the next uh, three weeks. Some time around the valley, we need to be able to come up with a tourism policy because all of these, the tourism I have treated as a business, tourism, investment, uh, power, all of these, agriculture, all of these will go towards making successful research in Rajasthan in October next year. So I would request you all to please look at this carefully. If there's anything more you want to say, we'll be happy to listen. Um, we begin this track. And we begin this trek towards the next research in Pakistan. Hopefully, it will be a great success. 
I see that every state is now picked up on this. And the British are probably doing it right now. Gujarat is just about, I think, also doing it sometime very close. Gujarat, of course, was the one the trade center. Rajasthan did this by what, 2007 And we're all set to do ours again. I think Rajasthan has a lot to offer. We need to be able to trade off all those tricks. We need to be able to stand on our feet. Therefore, I think to all of you, make the preparations. Make the preparations. Talk to us. And if there's more to be done, if there's something that we can help you with, let's start working for now so that we have a very, very successful uh, research to understand. I think we are all in competition with each other. The idea is to actually take our stand back to talk and try to keep all the others behind. And I believe we can do that because we have uh, a business culture. When I go out abroad, people talk to me about two states that have that kind of culture. They say that Gujarat has it because they've always been um, business minded. And they say that Rajasthan has been. Because Rajasthan has also had the Marwari culture, which has been very, very useful in bringing industry not only to Rajasthan, but many great cultures. And I'm still very proud to say that if you look across the world, number one, our Marwari business. So you need to be able, because the engine is growing very, very fast. There's a lot of competition where this comes from. You need to be able to build the distance between us. So you need to be able to work a little harder, get us to do the things that you want us to do, supportive of you in whichever way we can be, so that the gap between us and them can increase and that Pakistan can reach the potential that we believe and all of us believe we have. You believe you have it, I believe, some believe, the state believes you have it. And I don't see any reason why we shouldn't actually leverage that potential. So the beginning is next year, starting right now, the clock starts to tick from the moment we have put that policy on the table before you. So the rest is in your hands, we can only take you to the table. And then be supportive of you alongside. them. So I look forward to working with you in this next year, in creating a policy and creating a business <coughs> environment that will take us to the right to the top. Thank you all very, very much for being here. And I want very much to thank the Chief Secretary and his team, the industry people and also the Minister for um, Power and his team uh, for having worked so hard to put in this, these policies on the table. Thank you. I look forward to meeting you time and again as you move on this path. Thank you very much. Thank you.